Unfortunately, safety is top of mind for both attendees and organizers ahead of tomorrow's first Apex Pride holiday celebration. One of the co-founders tells us that recent attacks have made safety more of a key priority, but it also makes it even more important for the event to still take place. But all year long, it's important to stand up for what you believe in and to be a strong ally. And I think that the worst thing that we can do is to cancel or to back down to bullies. We, we don't back down to hate. The group held a large event this past summer and Saturday will offer the LGBTQ community a chance to come together for the holidays. Connor tells us the recent events in Moore County have made safety more of a priority, even though this is a small event. There will be an officer liaison at the Apex Senior Center during the celebration and volunteers will escort people from the parking lot. Small precautions that she says can make a big difference. Conrad also tells us that her organization received a lot of support following the attack in Moore County. One of the drag performers reading alongside Santa tomorrow says recent violence against pride events does weigh on her, but it has for years. Unfortunately, much like the pain of wearing high heels, I now know the risk of the job and the work that I do, but it is not something that has been new. It has gotten worse. In this past year, there have been 124 incidents of protests or attacks against specific drag related events across the country and event organizers tomorrow are taking all the precautions to make sure their event doesn't get added to this list and the holiday celebration will take place here at the Apex Senior Center from 12 to 2. All are welcomed in Apex. Samantha Coomer, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.